Hello, this is Mad Scientist Hut Channel. Um, today we're going to go over a three-phase generator that I made. And I made it from scratch. So, first thing, please subscribe to my channel. Um, it's really important to me. And, alright, so, let's go over the generator. I made these coils by hand and shaped them. And there's nine coils here. Every third coil, so this one is tied in series with this one and this one, and then so on and so forth. So this one's tied in series with this this one here, and then this one here. And then they come out to this little bridge rectifier I made to rectify the three-phase voltage and current into two wires so it's a rectified DC waveform. Um, that way we can measure it on the on the multimeter in DC. Uh, I poured epoxy around the coils and put a bearing in the center of it, a 608ZZ bearing. So we have a free spinning around the coil. And then for the magnets I have these I think they're N40 magnets and they're only a millimeter thick and I think they're 10 millimeters wide I'm pretty sure they are maybe they're 12 uh, I'd have to look them up and then I have two plates and they're both attached to the back side of a steel plate that I cut out of a uh, power supply chassis that's what this uh, material was So let's put it together. Basically it's sitting on a quarter inch, um, 20 thread per inch carriage bolt here. And then I have a little plastic spacer here to keep the coils away from the magnets. And then I'm going to put some more plastic washers in here. And then we're going to stick the other magnetic plate on there. And you can see they just want to line up with each other. The north to south, north to south, automatically when you stick it together. It does not want to twist apart. So by tightening that up it flattens the plates out and then they'll free spin around the coils. Let's do some testing on it and see what it'll do. Alright, so this is me just spinning it with my fingers and this gives you an idea how much voltage this thing will generate. I'm not spinning it very fast at all. Maybe a couple hundred RPMs. Next, uh, I'm going to hook it up so we can measure the current out of it. Short circuit. Alright, I was trying to spin it into a short circuit in the meter to get the current reading, and it was hurting my fingers too much, so I'm going to cheat here and use a power drill. This is a uh, 24 volt cobalt drill. I'm going to drive it directly from the drill, and we'll see what kind of current we get out of this. We're getting roughly two and a half amps. I'm going to switch over to voltage with the drill driving it. This would be a very strong wind driving this, uh, this uh, generator. So peak voltage being driven by the drill, we're getting 40 volts out of this generator. Which is pretty impressive actually. For reference, this is the drill I was driving it with. It'll do 1800 RPM, so it gives you an idea of what speed I was spinning it at to get the 40 volts and 2.5 and amps. I hope you enjoyed watching the video, and 
once again, please subscribe. And thank you again for watching, and I hope it helps somebody with uh, ideas they may have. And I'll see you guys in the next video.